hello everyone so i know it's been like a long time in no like video or talk but this video is going to be about my skincare routine um on my blog i think like a year ago i did a blog post about my skincare routine people loved it um and it has changed since then i still kind of use like the same brand of products because I usually lean more towards that brand but I'll go all over that um in the video so um I also br I will break this into like morning and night also I'll start off with the day time and then we'll go to night <laughs> for the morning time I will wash my face with this morning burst detoxifying face cleanser um, by Clean and Clear, of course. Looks like that. Uh, I lean a lot towards Clean and Clear because uh, Clean and Clear works for my face. Like it doesn't break me out. I don't get dry skin with Clean and Clear. Like it works for me. Um, and I did one time go off Clean and Clear to try another face like morning cleanser and something happened like I got this big like dark spot right here um I don't know if you guys um like can notice it but it got, like turned dark and I don't know what it was but it was it was nasty and has like little bumps and I started like getting like weird dark spots and breaking out like really bad so uh, yeah I had to get it off of that and then of course go back clean and clear uh so yeah i'll use this in the morning with this you only need literally you only need one pump and that's it you don't need any more than one pump with this stuff so that's why it looks like it's new but it's really not like i actually used a little a lot of it because since you only need one pump this will last um it's also reasonably priced in stores i think I think I got this for four something at Target. So yeah, that's where you can find that. And then of course after you know washing my face, I dry it off, blah blah. And then I will moisturize my face with this moisture recovery lotion. And it is hypoallergenic and fragrance free. It's a Walgreens um brand, but it says that it's compared um, compared to ingredients of Vaseline Intense um, Rescue Lotion, it just looks like this. Um, it was 99 cents, and you only need a little bit of this too since it's like really creamy. Um, I used to use Cinefil, like you know, the tub that everybody named Mama on here uses, but Cinefil in my skin was making my skin after I moisturize very oily so when I would do like my primer my foundation or even my primer and just a powder I would notice that my skin would get really oily fast and depending on the seasons I have like combination skin or dry skin or combination and you know like stuff like that so um yeah so if my tint usually gets oily like in this region in this region i hope i'm making any sense because i feel like i'm not but yeah um so i just use this because this helps and it soaks in real fast and it doesn't give you that oily feeling so let's move on um so that was my like skincare for the daytime like with products for the nighttime i use this clean and clear foaming cleanser foaming facial cleanser um it's oil free it says medicated to kill problem causing bacteria without over drying and it looks like that um with this stuff you only need one pump again but you can even use less than one pump like you can use a half a pump for this because this stuff foams up like nobody's business 
um and it's also since it says it's medicated it really is um if you have like very oily 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 skin i would recommend this because this will like dry up your skin you know since it's gonna dry up your acne so i would recommend this um i wouldn't wouldn't exfoliate your face and then use this so if you're gonna exfoliate like one night don't use this it will burn like for real i accidentally did it like i forgot that i exfoliated my face and then i used this and then my face was like freaking on fire because everything was open already you know from exfoliating so um yeah this is a good um product and if i didn't mention it's by clean and clear so i love clean and clear um and then after doing that at night um i will got dropping stuff i will use this olay oil minimizing toner with um witch hazel oil in the normal this is another thing like i don't use this toner every night um i use it like once every other night because if i use this it's already harsh on my face so using this kind of burns a tad bit for me i don't like know why um and also some nights i don't want to use this because I don't really have like acne acne like I get problem spots or sunspots but I don't have like bad acne like some people do so some nights I will just use this like the morning wash and then use um this with it so with this um Olay you know toner you can you use it with you can use a cotton ball or a pad or whatever and you just put a little on it you only need a little and you just like you know put it on your face um it does leave your face feeling very clean and like i don't it's it's like perfect and you know the witch hazel like helps your skin of course um so yeah i had one more product um and it's actually this elf Oh, this elf zip zapper uh, I think this is a dollar I don't know if you can get this in stores I actually got this off of the elf website it just looks like that and it has like like this ball and you like clean your face before you do this you like clean your, you know make sure your face is clean and because you know it has like a rubber ball on it, you don't want to have a dirty face and then rub this on your face and then it gets in there no Make sure your face is clean and then rub this on your zits or any like problem bumps and this stuff works. It will dry it up. I really, I use this um, at night mostly but if I have something that popped up on my face like overnight, uh, I would put this on under it and let it dry and it really does work. I think it costs like a dollar. So I would, I really would recommend it, and it lasts a lot, as you can see. Like, there's a lot of product in it, and since you're, it has that ball, and you're only putting like some medicine on it, it will last you a long time. So I recommend this. Um, so that seemed to be like all of my face care products. Oh my gosh, I forgot to mention before I do any of like especially at night time before like yeah really at night time before I do any anything I use um makeup remover wipes to remove any makeup I have on my face um I don't really need Target right now it's the makeup removing cleansal towelettes compared to ponds so these are also compared to ponds by Walmart you get like 60 for hella cheap instead of getting this one that was kind of ex you know like expensive for 30 so you get 30 towelettes it looks like this and yeah i mean they're just moisturized 
like cloths. I mean, if you want, you can get like the oil or whatever based ones and like get like some tissue or towel or whatever and just clean up the makeup that way. Um, some people, what was I going to say? Some people also use like the lotion method to take it off, whatever. I, I don't because that's like too much oil. So I use these. Like I said, take off all my makeup and then I use, you know, go to my like night routine. So that was everything about my skincare routine. Um, I will link a blog post to my old skincare routine in the down bar. I will also have all these products, like pictures, descriptions, basically like everything I just said um, on my blog. And that would be posted actually tomorrow morning-ish. So yeah, I have everything on there. Um, if you have any other questions, please let me know if my skincare routine does change. I'll just like make a new video. But, um, usually I probably wouldn't have to, I don't know, like I'll probably just make a new video. But anyways, it's going to be usually clean and clear because I clean my face with clean and clear. I'm like obsessed with clean and clear. It works for me and it's the only like skin thing that actually does work for me. But yeah. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Please, please, please make sure to like comment and the other thing is if you have any any questions please leave it in the comment section you can direct message me you can um hashtag fashion side child on facebook you can at um hello courtney on did i just say facebook i mean on twitter you can at me you know anything um i'm also you know take requests for any type of videos you want to see so that's a good thing and make sure you guys have like a good week stay stay positive because i know it's hard but really stay positive and i'll see you guys next time